Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to recreate the famous Hailey Bieber Skin Glow Smoothie from Erwan. Erwan is that super bougie grocery store that's based out of California. I'm not sure if they have other locations, but there's a Hailey Bieber smoothie there that sells for, I think it's $17. It's a ridiculous amount for a smoothie. And it does seem extreme, but it does have a lot of skin loving benefits to it. I did already try this smoothie and I was fully expecting to crap on it because if you take the skin loving ingredients out of the smoothie, it's basically a strawberry banana avocado smoothie, like not even kidding. But I think what makes it really delicious is the, they use an in-house strawberry glaze, but it's definitely something that you can make at home. And once I assembled it all and tried it, I was like, wow. This is really good and it has really great skin loving benefits as well. First I'll share everything that I got. I got these supplements off of Amazon. You can totally get them off of other websites as well. Amazon was just the easiest for me to get a lot of these items. The Air One Smoothie does use this exact collagen peptide right here and it is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptide Powder with vanilla flavoring in it. And then they also use this exact hyaluronic acid. This is a liquid hyaluronic acid from the brand NeoCell. Also something that I got off of Amazon. I will link everything down below. And then they use an Irish sea moss gel. I'm not sure exactly which one they use. They might use a Symbiotica one. Not Symbiotica, but like a one that comes in like similar packets. And they do have those on Amazon, but it was really expensive. So I opted for this one instead. It's still a little bit pricey, but it's from Kourtney Kardashian's brand Lemmy. And it's organic sea moss. This one also has biotin and D3 in it. So I figured, you know, let me give it a try. Sea moss has really great benefits. So these three ingredients here is what gives the smoothie those skin loving benefits. Everything else is just, like I said, it's basically a strawberry banana avocado smoothie. For the glaze, you're gonna need fresh strawberries, lemon, as well as some maple syrup, and then you just kind of puree it until you get the consistency like this. It is so delicious, it'd be really great on pancakes as well. But this you're gonna put at the bottom of the smoothie. I'll show you guys how I assemble it as well. And I feel like this is what truly makes it so good. You're gonna need half a cup of almond milk. To be honest, I do not like almond milk. So I'm just gonna use my regular dairy milk here. It's just like regular whole milk. So I have half a cup of whole milk. You're gonna need one cup of frozen strawberries, quarter of an avocado, half of a banana frozen. I just cut half of a banana and froze it last night. So <laughs> this is why it looks so funny. Two pitted medjool dates. I got this off of Amazon as well because I didn't really have any on hand. It was like $3 or something like that. Then you're also going to need these three ingredients right here and that's what makes up the smoothie portion. You also have a coconut cream part. So you're going to need coconut cream. I did not have coconut cream so I used coconut milk. And coconut milk is a lot more watery whereas coconut cream is like the meat of the coconut. But I let it sit in the fridge once I opened it and it kind of separated it in the fridge. So I took a lot of the thicker portion of the coconut milk and I added it to a blender here. I'm gonna use that, kind of like smear it on the sides. That's what kind of gives it that white um, consistency when you see pictures of the smoothie. But let's go ahead and assemble it. So I'm gonna be using this glass right here. So at the base, I'm gonna add that strawberry glaze. I'll do about two to three tablespoons just because I feel like this is just so delicious. You can also make a larger portion of this and just keep it in the fridge and make the smoothie throughout the week. And for the actual smoothie, you're gonna wanna do half a cup of milk, one cup frozen strawberries, quarter of an avocado, half of a frozen banana. Sorry, I feel like you couldn't see what I was doing this whole entire time. And then add two pitted medjool dates. And then now that I have all of the fresh ingredients in here, now I'm gonna go in with the supplements. So you wanna do one to two scoops of the collagen peptides powder, a tablespoon of the sea moss. It doesn't really smell like anything. So I'm gonna do about, I don't know, maybe two droppers. I feel like that should be enough. And then a tablespoon of the NeoCell hyaluronic acid. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And this one has a berry flavor. It also says to add a cup of ice cubes. My blender is really old. I've had this magic bullet for forever and it's kind of burning out on me so it can't really handle super frozen things. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and blend it all together. Now for the fun part is assembling it. So again, I have my strawberry glaze here at the bottom. Now I'm gonna take some of that coconut and kind of smear it on the sides, kind of like this. I don't know. If you use coconut cream, it will of course be a lot thicker and look a lot better, but it is what it is. I only had coconut milk on hand. I'll have to try it with coconut cream and then just go ahead and pour your smoothie in. 
and that's literally it that's the entire process but i promise you this tastes so good if you wanted to some people add like a dollop of the coconut cream on top so you can mix the coconut cream with a little bit of like maple syrup or something and put it on top as like whipped cream mm. that strawberry glaze is everything i feel like if it wasn't for the strawberry glaze i probably wouldn't like it as much because again it's literally just like a strawberry banana smoothie with avocado and pitted dates but the glaze definitely kicks it up a notch the coconut cream and then these supplements right here really give you like skin loving benefits to the smoothie and these you can add in you can add this in like coffee cream if you wanted to you can take the sea moss on its own you can add this into so many other smoothies as well and you save a lot of money making this at home it's not going to cost you 17 dollars. you can make so many different kinds and change the variation like if you don't like almond milk you can Switch it out to whatever milk you like, whatever fruit, fruit you like, but I feel like the combination of everything that they did here, they did a really good job with it. Now again, I've never tried the Erewhon one, so I can't compare, but I was like, wow, this is really good. So, I don't know, I personally love it, highly recommend you guys try it out. I will leave the exact recipe that I follow down below, because there are a few different kinds. Try this out, and if you do, let me know how you like it. I hope you guys enjoy this video, thank you guys so much for watching, and really hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye!